Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this six piece matte gel polish kit from Amazon. The brand is called Homost, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was having a hard time trying to pronounce it. But this is what the box looks like when you remove it from the packaging. You get six matte gels, they're all eight milliliter glass bottles they do not have any names there is numbers on the bottom of the bottles and you can see a little bit of the color through the window on the bottle which i thought was really cool and i will also be showing you guys some swatches in a few so you can see all the colors and you do get a little instruction booklet with this kit that shows you how to use the gels depending on which one you bought from them So this first color number is 4646 and it's this really pretty shade of light lilac. I will be doing two coats of each color and curing each layer for 60 seconds since that's what the directions recommended. One thing I could say about these polishes is that they are a little bit runny. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but they are kind of like liquidy. So be mindful when you're applying your coats um, to apply them evenly so that you don't see the brush strokes and they do dry matte. This next color number is 4619 and it's a shade of light pink. This one is my favorite one. I'll be using this one in the video today. I always end up going for the pinks, but I really like this one a lot. Out of all the colors, this one, the purple, the olive color, and the baby blue are the best ones out of this kit in my opinion. There's two that came out really sheer, like they're almost like jelly color. Um, I don't think they were supposed to be like that and I'm not sure why they came out like that. Um, you guys will see later on. And you don't have to wear these polishes just matte. You can also apply a regular gel top coat if you wanted to wear them shiny. Next we have number 4642 which is that really pretty shade of olive that I was telling you guys about. I think this color would be really nice. For the fall, it's a really pretty shade of green, and that's what I really like about this kit. There's a variety of colors that you could wear all throughout the year, and if you're a beginner looking for a cheap kit, this would be a perfect one for you. I wanted to point this out really quick. I don't know if you guys could tell, but after I cured this swatch stick, you can see the polish strokes through the polish. And like I said before, it's because the polish is really runny. So make sure you're applying it evenly. I didn't really do that because I was just swatching them really quick. But if you're gonna do this on your real nails, you wanna be really careful with that because you'll be able to see those type of imperfections. But anyways, this next color is 4640 and it's this really pretty shade of dark purple but unfortunately it's like really streaky and it comes out really sheer, almost like a jelly polish. This is the one that I was talking about earlier in the video where I said it was really like sheer and see-through. I even tried applying more polish but it didn't really do much even after two coats. Um, I guess you could use this color for a jelly color if you wanted to. The next shade is 4612 which is that baby blue color. I like this one a lot as well, but I already did baby blue nails a while back, so I decided to use the pink one instead. But I feel like with these polishes, two coats, it is still a little bit sheer, so you might wanna do three coats if you were gonna do this on your regular nails, and then apply a matte top gel over them. I will be showing you guys what they look like after applying a matte gel top coat as well. Mm -hmm. 
The last color I have is 4634, which is that burgundy shade. It's really pretty, but it is also sheer like that purple one. It's not as streaky as the purple one, so that's the good thing about it. Um, even after two coats, as you can see, it's like super clear, like a jelly color. That's probably what I'll be using these two colors for. Alright, so here are all the colors after applying one layer of matte top coat. I used Elite 99 matte top coat because that's the only one I have. And overall, I like all the colors. I was just disappointed about the pink and the purple one that were a little bit sheer. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this kit, I'll leave the links in the description box. So for the design, I'm doing it on my practice hand and I applied some tips off camera and I'm going in with some base gel. Um, I'm treating it like it's a real hand and that's what you would have to do on your natural nails. You would have to go in with a base gel before you apply the polishes. And I'll be carrying that layer for 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to be doing an ombre on all of the nails. I'm going to be using that pink color 4619 and applying it to like half of the nail. And then I'm going in with this opal jelly from Born Pretty and I'm applying it to the other half of the nail. And then I'll be like blending the two colors together. To blend them, I'm using this ombre brush from Born Pretty. And I'm just using the tip of the brush very lightly and going back and forth and kind of blending the colors together. I'm not trying to make it too neat because I'm covering it up with glitter. I'm just kind of trying to get like a decent blend. But if you're going to just do the ombre, you might want to blend it a little more. I'm going in with two coats on each nail. Um, you might want to go in with a few more coats to make the colors more opaque if you were just gonna do the ombre but i'm not doing that so that's why i'm only going in with two because the glitter is gonna like mask everything and i will be flash carrying in between
Now that the nails are cured, I'm going in with this glitter gel. It's called Funfetti and it's by Glitter Lust Nails. And I'm applying a thin layer of it over all of the nails. And then I'm gonna cure that in my big lamp for 60 seconds. I did cure the ombre in my big lamp as well. Um, I just used the mini lamp to do like a quick little flash cure so the gel didn't move. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying these flame stickers to all of the nails. I got these on eBay a while back. They came in like a set of 16 with all different colors. I do end up going back and changing the pointer finger and the middle finger because I wasn't really feeling how they looked. And I will be adding some small flames in between on all of the nails. You're going to want to make sure that they're flat on the nail because when you go to encapsulate, you don't want them to be sticking up. I'm going to be encapsulating all of the nails with this clear poly gel from the Melody Susie French Poly Gel Kit. I reviewed this kit a few weeks ago. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it in the cards. But I love this poly gel so much. It's super clear and I've been using it like in all of my videos lately. And I just squeeze out how much I need and I always start by the cuticle and just work my way side to side down the nail and remove any excess with the spatula. I usually add like a little bit more poly gel than I need because the nails are long. The brush I'm using is from that same kit as well. And I will also be filing and shaping off camera to save time. Thank you. 
To finish the design, I'm going to be top coating all of the nails with that Elite 99 matte gel top coat. And I'm going to be applying some clear stones by the cuticle. I'm just sticking them into the gel because it doesn't really matter if they stay on or not since this is a fake hand. And yeah, that is about it for the set guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you think and also a like. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video.